they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots no frowns. Can't hop out, then we clear them. All right, hey guys. We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest. It's your boy, Terry Loaded. Terry, how you feeling being in New York right now? I don't feel like being in New York. I feel like I need to get some more work done. That's how I feel. Yeah. I, it's been raining and shit. Like, why is it raining when I come? You know? right. And it's BT weekend, so it's like it's a lot of yeah. people not here yet. Mm-hmm. They coming, though. But I will say people like to hit to work. It's been a lot of persistent people like DMing me. Come on, let's link, let's link. Right. Creators? Or yeah, creators. Music? Okay. Uh, so are you out here on a creator tip or a music tip or both? Or like... At first, I thought I was out here on like a creative tip, uh-huh. but it's like more music stuff coming towards me. So it's like, right. it's like the best of both worlds right now. Right. So I guess when people ask you, what do you do? Do you say creative first or like, what do you say? I used to say I'm a comedian, but mm-hmm. now I say, now I say I'm a comedian, a rapper, and like, that's the same thing, right? Creator, comedian, rapper. I feel all like- around. I just say, I just say creator and a rapper, some shit like that. Yeah, I feel like comedians, like, if all your content's funny. Yeah. But, like, I feel like you have a balance of a little bit of everything. So, did you see the list of the, like, top funniest people on the internet? Yes, I did. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? I don't have no thoughts. I'm just glad that my brother's on there. That's all I'm happy about. Okay. As long as as long as long one of us is being seen, that's all that matters. That's why I didn't really okay. complain about it. Who your brother? Who was Kerbo. It? Kerbo? Yes, he was. At least as, as, at least one of us is being seen. That's all that matters. Okay. But it's like, you know, it's cool. Like, it did it did kind of bite me on the shoulder real quick. I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> really? Do you really? feel like your audience misses Tabina? They do. They do miss Tabina. I ain't going to lie. They ask me every single day. I try to ignore the shit, but it's like, they just punching and punching and punching and punching and punching. It's so, just like, calm down, <laughs> relax. Just right? chill I want to be Terry right now. Yeah, like, I'm enjoying my Terry era right now. Okay, okay, okay. But maybe in the future? Or, like, you still Maybe, maybe not. Conflicted I'm thinking about it. All right. So we're going to play a game to loosen up. Um, I'm going to ask you some questions. You say the first thing that comes to your mind. All right. Your most used emoji. My most used emoji? My most used emoji. Can I look at my phone? <laughs> yeah. My most used emoji. Hold on. Laughing. The, the, la- tears? the tears and the other one. Okay, okay, okay. What's your biggest flex right now? Something you accomplish, you proud of, when you want to pop up? My biggest flex is yeah. where I'm at right now. Okay. Yeah, that's Sitting on the haters type shit. Yeah, that's my biggest flex. Like, no matter how much y'all's hot shit, I'm, I got somewhere. I ain't where I want to be, for real, for real, but I'm somewhere. Yeah, further than others. Yeah. Okay, so um, what song do you listen to for motivation? What song I listen to for motivation? Mm-hmm. Or is it a couple? Or it's a couple of them. Okay. Who you listen to? Like Drake? Like who you listen to? I listen to Drake. For motivation? Not for motivation. Yeah, what is it like? I don't, I don't know. know. It's a couple of them. I just I love listening to music, music. so it's like okay. a couple of them. Okay. Um, what's your toxic trait? My toxic trait is I'm very petty. Petty? Yeah. Oh, like, shit. I'm extremely petty. Like, <laughs> I I just not really tick for tat. Cause I, I feel like that's childish. Uh huh. But. But you hold on to grudges, I guess. I don't really hold on to grudges. Uh huh. But like, if I feel like I was played with, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm gonna do one little thing before we get back on good terms. Let me just let me just get you just a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, give us one of your bars that could be used as a caption. One of my bars that could be used as a caption. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> it gotta be. It gotta be from Cranky. Unreleased or out? Unreleased. It don't unreleased. It don't okay. Yeah. Okay. I think unreleased. Um. Hold on. It's a couple of <laughs> them trying to think. Or you could tell us the song name. The song name. Okay. Um. Yeah. A song that could be used is him. The song is called him. Him. But the song didn't come out yet. Okay. And I think. I could use in my prom on big shit. Niggas thirty years old ain't got shit. That's a fact. I mean, that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, favorite app on your phone? My favorite app on my phone is Is it TikTok? It's Cash App. Cash App? Send Period. me that money. <laughs> Period. Okay, last thing you spent money on. Huh? Last thing you spent money on. The last thing I spent money on, a damn flight. 
<laughs> okay, and at what age would you want to retire? 200 years old. For real? <laughs> yeah. Like you want to work till you old type shit? I love what I do. Okay. So I don't know. I, I fuck with what I do. I don't know. But being realistic. Like you could see you doing 50 still on YouTube and like everything. Man, that's no, good. at 50, I see myself on movies and shit. On movies and shit, okay. Acting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I would probably still dibble and dabble in and out of YouTube. Okay. Yeah. All right. So your goal is to be an actor as well? Yeah, like, I always wanted to be an actor. Okay. Like, I want to be an actor, reality show personnel, a producer. Like, producing music or, like, producer on, show? Like, show. Like, my okay. own show. What's your favorite show right now? My favorite show? Reality or a regular show? Mm, regular. That's a lot of reality stuff going on. My right favorite now. regular show right now is Power. Power? Okay. If you was in Power, who you think you would play? Or who do you think you would play good? I want to play my own self. Of course, but like, whose role, I guess, you like? Whose role? That you could probably see yourself. Brayden. Brayden, for real? Yeah. I think I could do Brayden. Because <laughs> Brayden is like, he don't want to do the stuff that Tyreek, he don't really want to do that stuff that Tyreek's mm -hmm. doing, but it's like he got no choice. So it's just like, oh yeah. my God, like, okay. So Brayden I'll, going out sad right now. Bro. I know. But yeah. Okay, so what part of Florida are you from? I am from Broward County, 954. Period. Okay, so when did you move to Houston? Or what? I didn't move to Houston yet. Oh, you still in Florida? Yeah, I'm still in Florida. Okay, so you be traveling all that much? Yes. Damn. I am jet lagged. So they say you Tired. always on a flight. I'm always, I stay on a <laughs> flight. Catching flights, not feelings. Been, okay. Stay on the um, flight. Is there a reason why you didn't move there? Since I feel like I got um, I feel like I feel like people tend to want to jump and move so quick. Mm -hmm. But me, I got family at home. Mm -hmm. I need to make sure they're good first before mm -hmm. I just jump and leave. Like, I got a mom that I, I take care of her. I take her to the doctors. I, I go to the, pick up her prescriptions. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm her only son. So it's like, I'm the only one okay. who does it. And then I have a sister who's in school and our dad passed away. So it's like, mm -hmm. I don't want to just jump to Houston. Okay. And then I have to jump back right. to Florida because they need me. So it's like, before I go to Houston, okay. I got to make sure that this bread coming in for real, like... <laughs> it's dropping on my chest so right. I can be able to make sure they good on that side. Okay. So how was that, I guess, knowing when your dad passed away? How did you, like, transition? Did you want to work harder? Yeah, it made me want to work harder because it, it happened out of nowhere. It happened. I was actually coming from Houston. Mm. Like, I was, I left Houston because I was on the trip with um my boys. We left Houston, and mm -hmm. I was about to go see him as soon as I landed. Mm -hmm. As soon as I landed, take my phone off airplane mode phone blowing up i'm like what is, oh why is everybody gosh. blowing up my phone and then i see my cousin saying sorry my cousin i'm like what she mean sorry so uh -huh. i'm like let me call my sister and then my sister was like yeah he's gone i'm like damn i was just about to go to the hospital it kind of had a little bad effect on me but mm -hmm. over time you learn to like this is bad i don't to me it's not bad to say but to some people get over it it's life it happens you got to move on but he like, would not want you to be of course. Crying every day. For sure. But, like, was you resentful that you was working so much and missed it? Or did I it was mad. I told myself, I was like, damn, that Houston trip could have waited. I was kind of mad. I was like, damn, mm -hmm. I should have never went to Houston yet. Because he was at the hospital when I went to Houston. I told him I was coming back. Okay. So, when he was in the hospital when I went to Houston, I was like, damn, I should have never took that trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But it seemed like you locked in. You've been focused. Yeah. Um, okay, so... When did music start? Music. Or was it always there? It was no, just... music was actually I didn't. I was. I'm surprised to this day. I actually wanted to do music because it's like I did. I did music that one time with Jada Waiter. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, this is gonna be my only time. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> but that went viral. I know. I said I am not a rapper. I told myself that. I said first of all, I am not a rapper. This is gonna be my only time. Went on YouTube, looked up dancing beats, and mm -hmm. that beat came up. Mm -hmm. So then that's when like I started humming to it, and then I'm like, hold on, I think I get, cause I was trying to, I was like, I was like, how can I make a song go viral and I'm not a rapper? So I thought about one of my most viral videos, you know, when Sabinia went into GC Wu and was like, mm -hmm. she wanted to be Jada Wade. So I was like, hold on, <laughs> yeah. I want to be. I started saying it over and over and mm -hmm. over again. So I was like, okay, so I did that, and then I said, okay, that's it, no more. 
Then I seen that shit started going viral and dumb. <laughs> I was like, hold on. All right, when did you notice it was going viral? Was the views? Was it all the videos? It was the views and people texting me. They're like, Terry, I didn't know you could rap. And I was like, hold on. I was like, okay. don't hype me. I, like, it would be my friends. They'd be like, you rap? You could rap? You could actually rap? I'm like, don't hype me up. Stop. Don't lie to me. Stop it. <laughs> and they're like, Terry, you actually got a little a little something well, there. Like, good. you gotta, you probably got to work on it a little more. Oh. And I was like, all right. So then I did another one. I'm like, okay, I think I want to be a rapper now. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so I guess who I guess reached out because it seemed like everybody's reaching out for that song. I seen performing it and stuff. Who reached out that surprised you? It was like, oh shit. Like, did Jada reach out, right? She did, right? No, she didn't reach out. I just seen her. She was on live with her she son did a singing. TikTok, it. singing she was it. like, oh my god, it's stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah, she was okay. that. But the person who reached out, who reached out. It could be anybody producer, artist, a celeb that shocked you. I can't think of one from the top yeah. of Yeah, it'd be a lot happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the music started picking up, and then you got a song with DJ Smalls. Mm-hmm. So how did that? That's my favorite song, honestly. It is. Facts. Everybody love that one. Oh, um, that song, that that song was not supposed to. That's it was not supposed to happen. I had took a beat from YouTube, mm-hmm. and I held it on to the song so damn long somebody else got the beat oh, so then i was like damn i ended up losing it that and then the thing is it started going viral on tiktok i'm like mm-hmm. damn i need somebody to remake this beat mm-hmm. and and make it sound the same so then that's when i realized i had small's number and we were supposed to have been working on something so i was like smalls i need you to can you remake this beat he said hell yeah send me the <laughs> acapella da 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 since it's him, he made the beat, and I'm like, hold on, okay. Okay. So that's how that happened. Okay. We, I, I actually do got a few more beats from him, like oh, him, the song him I was telling you about. Yeah. That's a beat from him. Fire. He he hard. So y'all locked in right now. Yeah. Do you have help on the music tip, like management, or this all you solo right now? I'm solo, dolo. For real, yeah, that's I'm really even, good. I'm even solo right now. So what's like some of your goals on the music tip? Some of my goals on the music tip. Yeah. Like, what do you mean, like? Um, gold, plaque, billboard. Oh tour. yeah, definitely the billboards. Definitely Feature. tour. Definitely Grammys. Really? My followers were being funny yesterday. I was on live. Uh-huh. They're like, Terry, why are you not at the BAT Awards? And I'm like, be so for real. Like, be for real. Like, don't try to troll me. I said, but it's all right. I'm not at the BAT Awards this year. Probably next year. Yeah, not pro. I'm a manifest it. Yeah. Hopefully. But you got to remember, you're also doing everything solo, right? People yeah. have their teams that reach out to get them on there. So right. if you're doing it solo, then, you know, you're doing your thing. I don't, think, I don't know how to get all that stuff. Like, I don't really know. Like, I have I have a manager, but she's more so like my booking manager. Right. Like, she just books stuff for me. Uh-huh. So it's like, I don't think she knows the right connects. To, I don't know. Yeah, to bridge the gap. Right, right, yeah. right. Okay, so how does, how does that go? Like... When do you know, okay, I'm locked in on music or I'm locked in on content or, like, how do you decipher what you locked in on? I'm still trying to balance it. Okay. Yeah, it's like sometimes, sometimes, like, I would forget that I'm a comedian first <laughs> and, like, okay. I would post straight music stuff on my page mm-hmm. and then people would be like, Terry, what the fuck? I get it. Can you drop a skit? Drop a skit. <laughs> so I'd be like, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. I need to balance it. Okay. So it's like I'm doing YouTube, then a skit. Like, I would post something about YouTube, skit, music, yeah, and then, like, I just do it in, like, a... Like a like, so you're still trying to figure out the order? Yeah. Okay, so, come, passing was Mental Health Month. How are you feeling mentally? Mentally, I'm getting there. Okay. You know, I'm being honest, I'm getting there. It's, it's good, though, but it's, like, it's not, like, bad where it's, like, oh, I don't want to talk to nobody, but mm-hmm. I'm getting there. I have my days. Yeah. We have seen you go live and stuff. So, um, we don't got to really get into that, but I guess how are you balancing, like, working with, I guess, other creators that, I guess, can't shake the stigma? What does that mean? Meaning, like, you said that you feel you're only comfortable with certain creators. So, how Mm. is it collabing with other creators that you feel like still have those thoughts? I collab, I go based off the energy. Energy? Yeah, once I feel like your energy is off, I'm out of there. It's like, okay, I'm walking out. Is there anybody you want to collab with, or you feel like you're good right now? There is, I want to collab with them, but I'm not forcing it, because it's going to come. Uh-huh. Um, probably Kassanet. Mm-hmm. Who else was? 
that's about it for right now. Yeah. Sure. Do you feel like you want to get into Twitch? I do. I have. I'm. I'm. That's that's next. That's next. That's next. Okay. So I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do all of that because it's like <laughs> it, it comes with a lot of like setups, phones. Yeah, and come. I don't know how they be traveling. Yeah, all that stuff. that's what I'm saying. So it's like I gotta figure out how to how to work all that first. Okay. What is your favorite, I guess? Is, like, comedian your favorite or, like, content your favorite or is music your favorite? Or it changes? Comedian. Hmm? Comedian. Comedian. Okay. Yeah, like, when I get to do my skits and act, I get to express myself and, like, show my acting talent. So I say Okay. Yeah. Okay, so how are you feeling about reality shows right now? You was on Influencer City. Um, mm-hmm. Do you feel like you want to get into more reality shows, or you want to transition? Oh, you do? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I see myself in reality for sure, definitely. Like, what show are you thinking? <laughs> this is gonna be funny as what to say. <laughs> Actually, no. I was gonna say love and hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think they make that, making that no more, honestly. Yeah, I was gonna say love and hip hop, but. Uh. No, no, not really love it. Everybody making their own reality shows. At yeah, this I'm working on my own reality shows. For real? Yes. Yeah, so that's why I can't really think, because I'm working on my own. What, like, what's the concept? Like, what's you? I had a reality show coming out for, um, hold on, never mind. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Wait, what happened? just in case, just in case. So I copy you? No. Or it's about to be, but I'm going to shut up. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, but you are doing your own reality show. Um, yeah. Is it going to be like everybody in one house sort of thing or? Something like that. So for for the viewers watching, how is it like living in the house with a bunch of influencers? Because <laughs> <laughs> you was over it at some point. They could drive me <laughs> insane. Like, it's like so many different personalities in a house. <laughs> and it's like sometimes it's like, okay, now let me, it's time for me to go back to Florida real quick. Let me get away from y'all real quick. Like, uh-huh. But being with, I don't know. It's just, they cool. It's cool. It's like you you get, you're not lonely. There's people there to work with. There's mm-hmm. people there to help you if you need ideas and stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's not all that bad. But when it comes to, when it comes to Personal them speech. going, they don't sleep. <laughs> they just do not sleep. <laughs> like, I'm the type of person, I get sleepy after 2 a.m. I can't stay up. They stay up at 6 a.m. and go to sleep. I just can't do it. They just do not sleep. <laughs> they don't sleep. And I'm not even going to talk about the personal house issues, but it's just like, yeah. they just do not. That's my only problem with them. They don't sleep. They don't shut up. Yeah. Well, we've seen some of the drama on TikTok. How do you, like, is it, like, surprising when some of that stuff leaks on TikTok? Or it'd be like somebody was talking. Like like what? Like, just like, I got stuff in the house. I mean. Oh. Yeah, no. your personal business that ends up on the internet, I guess. No, because some people, they don't know when and when not to go on live. Like, they'll mm-hmm. accidentally go live and somebody have a conversation downstairs. And then yeah. the supporters will pick it up and be like, oh, my God, I heard somebody say da 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 mm-hmm. So I don't, I, don't, I don't be surprised. Yeah. So do you have, like, favorites in the house? Of course, the Rose. But, like, do you have your favorite girl influencers that's in the house? Because, well, you're not in the house anymore. So, like, what was there? No, we still, it's still a house. But we yeah, take breaks. Yeah. Like, we go home. <laughs> Okay. Like we go to our actual home home, but um favorite mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, like, right. mm. Everybody got their days, I guess. Yeah, everybody got their days. Everybody got their days. So Nadia had went and she does the compact house now. Um, would you think about doing your own house? Hell yeah. Yeah? You yeah. would like do it? Yeah, for sure, but it would have to be in the... Would you do it in Florida or would you do it in Houston? Florida. For real? I want to... Because I want to bring more awareness to the upcoming Florida mm-hmm. creators. Because it's like, when I was an upcoming creator, I would... I used to want people like Smoke Geo or King Sid... <laughs> King Sid to like work... Like to like work with me type shit. So it's like, damn, so now it's a whole bunch of unknown upcoming... Florida creators, mm-hmm. I would love to put them in a house for all of us to work together. Like that's mm-hmm. something that I might do in the future. Oh, right. Put my city on. Okay. Who um I guess who are some upcoming creators that I guess we should look out for or should know? Upcoming creators that y- y'all should look and out from for. From Florida, from your home team. From Florida? Yeah. Mr. Cool Your Body. 
Who else? Um, Mr. Clear Body. Who else? Who else? Who else? It's a lot. Y'all, excuse me. No, y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go I ain't forget y'all. I just got to make sure I'm thinking. Mr. Clear Body. Um, what's the definition of upcoming? Like, I guess. I mean, it's up to you. Because, like, what do you consider viral? Is, like, 100K subs viral? Like, I don't know. It really just depends. Okay, Mr. Cool Your Body. Well, just just say influencers we should know. Influencers y'all should know about is Mr. Cool Your Body, Loving Lee, Sarah Lee. She's another girl who do like um Creole, like you know how I do my accent and stuff. Mm-hmm. She does it too. Oh, real. So it's her. Fafa, this girl from Orlando, mm-hmm. up and coming. Who else? My dog, Greg. He now want to do it. I don't know. He now want to do it. Um, so it's a couple people. It's a couple. It's a couple I'm trying people. to name the main ones. Okay. It's a couple people. Yeah. How did you, I guess, get into Influencer City? Like, did you meet them? Did y'all all just connect on socials? Like, how did y'all all get connected and then get in the house? Um, Liberty was there. And then, like, I, had, I was on FaceTime with her. And I made a joke. I was like, put me on there. Mm-hmm. No, it was Nia. I FaceTimed Nia. I was on the phone with Nia. I said, put me on there. Mm -hmm. Like, I was just joking. And Mm -hmm. then that's when the next season of, like, you know, the past Influencer City Mm -hmm. show, that season came on, and then Manny hit me up. He was like, come through. I was like, shit. I ain't doing nothing else. Let's go on the summer tour shit. Mm -hmm. So that's how I ended up being there. And from then, you just been locked in. Right. And what what are your thoughts on, like, the rumors about, like, Manny and how they try to say, like, what he's doing in the house. They're calling him Diddy? Yeah. <laughs> Manny is not no damn Diddy, y'all. Manny is just... He a is a man, Yeah, though. he is an upcoming next... You know how Lemmy from Zeus? Mm-hmm. He's the upcoming next Lemmy. He's going to yeah. have his own network and shit. That's what Manny is. Manny is not damn Diddy, y'all. Manny is trying to build his own shows. He's not no damn Diddy. Please, give me a boy. <laughs> Do you read comments? Yes, it's bad, right? Yeah, I would say, well, what's bad, right? the craziest comment? I never see? read comments before, but it's like, lately, they've been, I just want to see what, like, I don't know why I'm trying to get myself out that habit, but it's uh-huh. like, lately, it's like, see what the fuck they talking about, because they, yeah. they going, they talking crazy. They be making, putting stories together and shit. What's yeah. The, what's the craziest story you've seen of you? Or craziest comment or? Craziest comment? Yeah. I see crazy comments every day, so it's kind of hard for me to tell which one's the craziest, but um, okay. craziest, craziest. What shocked you recently, I guess, if anything? That I'm on the internet crying again, something like that. Because mm-hmm. it's an like old video from December that resurfaced. Mm-hmm. Some boring, at, some bored-ass little kid mm-hmm. went and reposted a video of me expressing myself on YouTube at the mm-hmm. end of the day. I was going through a bad mental cry- breakdown that day, and mm-hmm. people are making fun of it. I mm-hmm. thought I didn't think I was going to be made fun of for that. Mm-hmm. So it was like, I put it out there on the internet, and it's like now, it's like, re- it happened eight months ago, but now it's resurfacing. resurfacing yeah. And now people are stitching it on TikTok. Oh my God, Terry on the internet crying again. I'm not crying. Yeah, that's old. That was, that's old. That was one time. Yeah. And people keep on saying, oh, you should have never did to be on watch. To be going to be, might be right back on your doorstep. So stop saying that. How do you, I guess, in the comedian world, I feel like everybody kind of has their, like, alter ego. Kind of like, you about to make Zoe, Zoe has Jamal, Drewski had the girl. Like, so do you feel like it's, like, I guess not normal now? Or you feel like you dragged it? Like, I don't know why everybody's making it a big deal when everybody kind of has their They're making it a big deal because they're worried about who I sleep with. Mm-hmm. That's why. That's why I feel like like everybody else who has their little also egos I feel like there's nothing wrong with it. It's just mm-hmm. you bringing entertainment. It shouldn't be taken to heart. You know I mean? So it's like now it's like everybody just they just so worried about who who's in bed with who is like why are you worried about that? Just laugh at the video. Just laugh, bitch. Mm-hmm. Laugh. Mm-hmm. You want to be able to come across the screen and slap the shit out of you? Laugh. <laughs> uh, do you feel like you would pop out with a girlfriend on like public or 
I I just told him this on live the other day. I don't think I would ever in my life want my I don't think I would ever want my girlfriend. I don't think I would ever want them to know who my girlfriend is. Because mm. y'all not about to go into her comments every time she posts and harass her. Oh, your man is this. Your man is this. Your, your man is that. Like, no. I, like, I, I don't know. Probably in the moment, I'll be like, fuck it. Let me post my bitch. But mm -hmm. as of right now, I don't think I would ever in my life post my bitch for y'all. Yeah. Y'all are not going to harass her and cyber bully her like y'all do me, bitch. No. So... For right now, it's a hell no. <laughs> okay, so you're not even thinking. And that of goes like, for if I have a kid too. So you're not even thinking like family YouTube channel, couple. I channel. would want to do that though. That's the thing. Fa like the couple channel, no. Yeah. Okay. But like not a couple channel. But. Being on TikTok, like you know how there's families on TikTok and stuff. Yeah. Okay, let me sh shut up. It's, eventually, it's gonna go to YouTube. Yeah, I would want to do that. <laughs> but it's like. Not right now. Maybe later. I'm like. Do I want my wife? My girl and my kids to be hearing and seeing what these people be saying about, like, I don't want them to, especially the kids. I think it's really eating you up because you also still read comments. I feel like once you stop reading comments, I know you'll be like out of but that face. But they pop up on my screen. Like, you see right now, be sitting down. They're on my screen. Right here. You see, no, you got to turn your notifications off. How do I do that? Uh, I'm going to show you when we off this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause it's, it's like, just, like I'll be on, I'll be on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, you be having a regular day. And like this, this, this be me, randomly on YouTube, or I'm making a TikTok. La 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 la, like a lady crank it. Oh, bitch, you're gay. <laughs> bitch, you got me. <laughs> it's just, just be like, why the fuck? Know. It just, just pop it off. It's just like, no, I gotta reply to you. You got me fucked up. Shit. <laughs> no, you can turn your notifications off. How though? And I feel like you probably get a bunch of notifications all a day. A whole bunch. Yeah. It just comes through, like, and I just see them. Like, I'll just be scrolling. I see them. You're ugly. Your mom's fat. It's just like, okay, I'm going to cuss you out. A lot of them be kids, too. I feel like you have a lot of kids I know. following, too. But it be, it be, and it mainly be grown men. The grown men. It, I just never understood that. Yeah. Me as a grown man, I never cared about what another man is doing. Like, right. I just don't get it. Like, it's like grown ass men. Like, mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, it's it'd exhausting. be a lot. It'd be a lot. Don't let me catch him slipping. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess what advice would you give someone that's trying to come up right now, whether it's content, comedian, music? What's something you learned on your journey? You got to stay consistent. Not everything is going to be easy. You're going to go through a deep, dark storm currently going through that but it's not everything is going to be easy you got to keep it pushing mm -hmm. you got to keep going don't give up there's going to be days you wake up you be like fuck this this shit not for me let me let me go do something else no god is not going to put an image in your head that's not a purpose for you god does not place a dream in your head God does not start something in your head and don't finish it. Mm -hmm. Whatever is for you is going to be for you. If that dream is in your head and that's what you see yourself doing, keep going. Do not give up. Like, do not give up. It's not going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. Keep on going. Keep on pushing. Fuck what they got to say. And that's, and this is still a lesson that I'm trying to teach myself. Shit. Fuck what they got to say. Like, people is going to say the most nastiest shit to you, but don't let nobody stop your bag. Like, keep going. Keep pushing. When you need advice, who do you speak to? Nia. If anyone. Nia? Nia yeah. is the best person. Forever. She's my favorite friend to go to, to it for advice. Like, Nia gives you the best heads up advice there. Like, I don't think nobody else understand me like Nia. Like, that's the only friend that probably understands me. Like, Nia is the best person to give me advice. That's what's up. That's what's up. I see her and Chris are official now. Yes. Y'all didn't do that, though. But. About time. <laughs> huh? No, 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 no. We actually didn't. Oh, for real? They popped out the next day. Oh, okay. Mm. I was like, y'all probably like, speculated maybe a little bit. Okay, so um, I guess tell people where to follow you. How could they tune in? Uh, follow me on Instagram at Terry Loaded with three R's. And follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I currently have two more other channels. I'm not going to tell you the last channel name, but I'm going to tell you Him the Creator is one of my channels, and Terry Loaded, my main channel, TikTok, my main channel. Fuck with your boy on Apple Music. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Don't sleep on me too much with the music. You have a release date for the I'm Him song? 
Oh, you don't want to say. He don't want to say. I don't know. The thing is, it's not that I don't want to say. I don't know. So you want to? But I had. It has to be before my birthday. When's your birthday? August second. Okay. But I know I'm about to actually. uh, I'm about to drop a song. It should drop before tour. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Before tour, I'm about to drop this one song. I've been. I just started promoting it this week. It's called Looking for Me. I'm gonna drop that to ease everybody off, but. The EP should drop before it's for. I don't know. Okay, so you are dropping the EP. Yeah, I'm about to be dropping back to back. The EP, the single, back to back. I ain't What's playing with y'all no more. I'm finna just start dropping my shits. So I'm not playing no more games. <laughs> like, this is finna, y'all finna hear this. I have so much unreleased songs in the files, okay. it makes no sense. And me holding it back, it's like so much unreleased. I wanna say, so what does a week for Terry Reload look like? Because you're traveling, you recording music you're filming you're like damn you what is your it. week you, entail you just said it you just said it for me <laughs> i film if i'm not if i'm not filming a skit do you film every day or try to no i don't film every day oh. because when i'm home i don't have nobody to film with that's why i'm always traveling that's why i'm here now like i have nobody to film with when i'm home like and it's other creators like i said in florida but it's like it's hard to get in it's not hard to get in contact with them it's just like timing be off timing be very off so it's like i don't have nobody to film with so i gotta travel so if i'm not filming i'm in the studio you record in florida or you record everywhere you go i record in florida okay. shout out to my engineer dc he's teaching me a lot right now okay and i feel like i'm about to get even better at this rap shit because he's teaching me a lot of pointers that i ain't even know okay. i have a question for you what's up do y'all think i'm aggressive in my songs yes yeah, for that's, sure. That's what he's trying to teach me right now. He feel like he feel like I go. Let me crank this bitch up a little bit. <laughs> like he's trying to Just teach a me. Bit he said I could pace yourself. Yeah, the yeah. Pace, he's trying to teach me to be like, yeah, I'm aggressive, but I don't have. It's so it's good to be aggressive, but I don't have to yell at the mic. I could just be aggressive with my tone. Okay. So he's, he's teaching me a lot right now. Well, I guess that also goes with like how you handle your anger. When you argue, you be yelling. Yeah. Yeah, you be stabbing exactly. So, I guess yeah. I feel like a lot of people that have kids like learn how to like tone it down. I guess you know when you kid be well. But yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. All right. So. I'm just hold on, y'all. My bad. I'm trying to see where Zoe at. Now you're good. We're, we're wrapping up right now. So follow Terry. Make sure y'all tune in. Thank tune you for in. coming. Get ready for the upcoming projects. Appreciate y'all. What's it called? Again? Okay. Not what it's called. <laughs> Talk of the town, yeah. yeah. Talk of the town. No, no, like, y'all, I'm, I'm dyslexic. I, I be forgetting shit. But yeah, appreciate you.